They're about to tip off tonight. The Switters going for a bit of history in the men's NCAA Division II National Tournament. Caleb No, he's down there with the story. Hey, 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 hey. The nation's number one team in Division II basketball, LMU, will play for a spot in the Sweet 16 for the fifth straight year. But the problem is the splitters have never made it there. They've lost four straight tournament regional semifinal games. Lauren Cash takes us back to exactly one year ago. Mount Olive would open the game with 13 unanswered points. It took 12 tries in almost 10 minutes, but Curtis Webb drops in LMU's first field goal. But Mount Olive hitting everything. They shot nearly 50% on the game to LMU's 36. Mount Olive advances to the round of 16 with a 75-55 win. LMU's memorable season comes to a close. But that was last year, and this is a different season. Coach Josh Schertz spoke to us last night after his team's 98-71 win over Lander University about the monkey on his team's back. Well, I don't think there's anything that's happened in the past. If we had won four regional semis in a row, I don't think that would help us. If we lost four, I don't think this group's thinking about it. I think they're thinking about this team and what they need to do. And, and uh, certainly, you know, we understand. I mean, that, that's, that's the, the, the round that we've gotten beat in the last four years. There's no denying that. This group's got to, got to write its own story with its own chapters. And that's where we are. You know, we're towards the end, but now it's just how does the book finish? The rail splitters will try to change their fate tonight against conference opponent Queens. Tip time in that one is 730 down in Harrogate, Tennessee. Good stuff by Caleb No. He'll bring the highlights and postgame reaction tonight at 11.